sir what is the eligibility for pursuing or doing usc now that is the most common question that i get and i'm sure you know that must be getting on to your mind in terms of you know what is the qualifications eligibility all about so that if i really want to go there i should know that can i be eligible for it or not generally speaking uscpa effectively wants you to have 120 credits now what is this credit is all about you know i'm not i'm not used to these credit words so i really need to understand what this credit credit system is all about so just to give you the context one year of graduation gives you 30 credits so if you have done your bcom by all means you would have 90 credits which is like 30 credits into 3 years would give you 90 credits us cpa calls out for 120 credits because in us the graduation is of 4 years so effectively you have 16 years of education that gives you 120 credits which effectively is the need of doing a cpa qualification so sir does that mean that if we are only only bcom we would not be qualified for pursuing the the cpa course nopes nopes sir why are you saying no you just said that it is 120 credits that are needed and indian indian bcom guy would have 90 credits so what does that mean indian bcom would have 90 credits but the aicpa which is the american institute of certified public accountant the body that is regulating cpa like we have icai over here that effectively wants you to have 120 credits but if you have done your bcom your graduation from some specified institutions which is like nac a plus institutions they gives you gives you the flexibility of starting cpa right away so you become eligible for that we'll talk more on that and of course if you have question also on this you can really write us you know we'll be happy to you know pick it up and of course resolve your concerns and queries in relation to that but what is important is that a bcom student can also be eligible for cpa qualification of course if he has done bcom from some particular institutions and we can really talk on that in a, in a while but what is important is that you should know that 120 credits are needed indian system gives you 90 credits in your graduation so anything over and above your graduation if you have done let's say you have done the mcom then it effectively makes you eligible let's say you have done your ca ipcc not even final ca ipcc that effectively makes you eligible for that because you effectively gets those 120 credits if you have done the bcom and of course ca ipcc and if you are a qualified chartered accountant like what i was at that point in time then also you are qualified for it this is what the overall eligibility is all about but there are various nuances that really play on in this eligibility framework because many of you may have different kind of qualifications so if you have any doubts any concerns any query in, in this regard do reach out to us and we'll be happy to you know resolve it